parts are going to come tonight when you try to go to sleep. It's going to be tomorrow when they wake up and they start facing it again. And the next day when they face it again. And they face it again. Very healing, very supportive for, for somebody from the school to visit uh, with the family to have constant or, or, or regular contact with, you know, with the family. Um, it's tough. It, it, it gives everybody a chance to, to think through what what uh, is important, what uh, what we might anticipate in terms of reaction from students. Uh, you know, to maybe to regrieve our our own losses, uh, to make plans for you know, for the students tomorrow, determining how how to support them, what sort of support that, you know that they might need, and and then to uh, spend. A, a sufficient amount of time planning. If we were to start tomorrow morning, then we may not have the time to, to uh, completely work through everything. So it all depends upon the, the age of, uh, of the student and, and then you know, what he or she has experienced in the, in the past. Uh, maybe students have lost grandparents or lost pets and and those, uh, you know, those, those losses are, are, are regrieved at times like this. Nice little kids, just full of life, uh, vivacious, uh, wonderful children. And, and their mother, Alicia, was, I, I met with her this past week, actually, in my office, and had been on a home visit to the house. And, just a wonderful family, nice people, and just a loving mother, just good kids. We, we frequently, frequently encourage parents to, uh, to call my office, which is 348-7720, and I'll certainly be willing to talk with them. Uh, that's, that's an offer that's, that's extended every time we have a crisis in the school system. Uh, if parents are, are concerned, uh, sometimes ministers are very helpful. Going back to the family physician can be uh, very, very helpful as, as well to, to surround the, the, their son or daughter with people with whom they, they have confidence and some level of trust.